I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a qualified physician in internal medicine. I have been practicing for last 25 years. In Stanford Hospital, I have been here for last 2 to 3 years in Kaikondrahalli. Seizures are more of a clinical diagnosis. Uh, when we speak about signs and symptoms and investigations of seizures, uh, the first thing which should come to our mind is that there must be some manifestation in the body to call it a seizure. And any symptom and sign is actually defined as a manifestation in the body. So either the patient will come to a do doctor to tell that some, something very close to a seizure-like phenomena has occurred, which becomes a symptom. And a sign is something which a doctor elicits in the patient and tries to understand that what the patient is undergoing or what the patient must have undergone. So let's talk about the no symptom problem. So there should be something which can decide seizures. Well, not all the investigations are so perfect today that they can define or uh, they can actually conclude that there has been a seizure. There are a lot of seizures uh, where the investigations can be normal. But still, as I said earlier, that it is a clinical diagnosis. If you really get hold of an investigation which actually proves uh, there is a pathology in the brain or there is some neural problems which is leading to an epilepsy or a seizure, well, we have to treat that. We have to treat the source or we have to treat the, uh, the cause. So that becomes easy. But if you say that there are investigations which are normal and uh, the patient is not coming with any symptoms, then I would like to know whether there was actually a seizure. And if there is a seizure, there has been some history, suggestive of seizure, which is mostly clinical, then we have to treat the patient. And again, treatment of the patient will depend upon the type of seizure, the frequency, the duration, and whether it is causing any damage to the body or it's causing any harm. Whether the patient himself actually is at risk when the patient is driving or doing machinery work or doing a highly cognitive function, then it becomes important to decide what type of treatment is to be given. And there are many types of anti-epileptic drugs uh, which a physician or a neurologist can uh, prescribe to the patient and monitor. So it is extremely important to treat the seizure if you have a diagnosis. Not necessarily that the patient will have uh, continued symptoms or the investigations uh, will show up something not necessary.